Roses are red, Joel is very green. He's killed more chickens than anyone you've seen. He's about to get building a huge new fancy base. Oh no, the camera is zooming right in on my face. Well, that was a terrible intro. So much so that I'm not even gonna ask you to subscribe. I don't deserve it. Let's start the video. Welcome back. Since last time, I went on a little trip to the end and we got some shulker boxes. Here's a little highlight of how that went. Or some pickaxes. Nice. Gimme, gimme, gimme that spare elytra. How many shulker boxes did we get? A decent amount. I think it's like 11 more in total or something like that, which will do us for now for sure. And it also means we can get started on our new base. And when we eventually come to move all our stuff over, we got these shulker boxes now, making everything easier. So I'm gonna grab some blocks and we're gonna start outlining how this thing's gonna look. This may take a while as this thing is gonna be pretty big. So I've been pretty busy. I was in a test world and I've basically built a quarter of the base. I also did this for like the chicken farm and stuff just to get like an idea of how things are gonna look. So I now have a good idea of how I want this base to look and what size everything needs to be. And I've started planning stuff out. So you may remember that photo I put on the screen last episode of the plan, I'll put it up on screen again now. And basically the center square, which is the temple, I've started working on. Now people are wondering how big is this gonna be? I'll show you how big it's gonna be. So if we fly up, this here is the central square. As you can see, it's massive. We've got some logs on top of here. You may be wondering where I got those. I made a little farm over here. Cut a load of these. I've been farming them a little bit and stuff using the spruce ones and the oaks ones, but these are all spruce around here. Put up all these walls, which are quite high with a mix of cobble and and smooth stone. However, it's not gonna stay flat like this. I'm actually gonna like bring it out and stuff. But first we're gonna work on the staircases. You'll see there's gaps in the logs, that's where the staircases are gonna go. I wanted to make it so like it was easy to get in from every side you come at this base. And luckily with Asian temples, you can sort of like design it around that. Obviously in real life, they normally only have one staircase up, but we're gonna have four here as it's gonna be like kind of symmetrical in that way. So let's chop down some of these oak trees we've been planting. I really hate chopping them down when not every single one of them have grown, but we gotta have to do it. And then let's do a little time lapse of the staircases being built. So since I recorded that last clip, it's been about an hour. As you can see, I'm logging in and out of the server quite a lot because I'm actually logging into my test world, checking how everything looks and making sure I get it all right. Because if I mess up any of like the dimensions of this thing, it's gonna screw me. I'm gonna have to like restart and do loads of other things. It'll be a pain to fix. So I had to make sure everything was completely precise. And luckily I managed to do that. And I actually started laying out the floor of the first first layer because this thing is going to have about three or four layers I'm pretty sure and some of them are going to have balconies and this is sort of like the bottom balcony that I'm working on right now. Also I edited my tree farm as I worked out my oak ones were growing incredibly slow because I had the slab a little bit too low so if I increased it up one level then all the trees started growing in a lot quicker which was lovely. We do need quite a lot of wood for this base. At the moment it looks like we need a lot of oak wood because we're making this massive floor but eventually we're going to need a lot of spruce. The majority of this build is made out of spruce and white concrete and white concrete powder plus some stone and the site stuff like that. So at some point we're gonna have to work on getting that white concrete powder but for now we're adding in a lovely wall around the edge. Came up with this design by myself. I'm very happy with how it turned out. It is quite high. It's like two blocks high, two and a half in some places but you know what? It looks cool. So you can kind of see already, this thing is gonna be massive. We haven't even like started on working on the diagonal bits and how it's gonna come out yet. And like I said earlier, the stone's gonna come out a bit further and I'm actually gonna work on this staircase a bit more and make it look a bit prettier as at the moment, it just looks a bit ugly and stands out. Don't worry, it will all be fixed shortly. I'm gonna try and get a lot done this episode, but as you can see, we're gonna have to like sort of work out a way to either light all this up or fill it in underground as it's gonna get quite dark under there and mobs are gonna spawn in like they are doing right now. I think I just saw a creeper under there and a spider, lovely. But unfortunately for most of this, we need wood, which it, they are growing, like the new trees are growing. In fact, I think we can actually harvest all that now. That looks pretty good. So we'll probably finish off the floor and then we'll start working on the stone around the edges here. Let's see if we can get all that floor done with all those trees over there. Back to the time lapse. So the first thing I did was actually just grab some torches from my old base and light this place up as you can see there nice and lit up when it turns to nighttime no mobs are now spawning in here it's perfect and then we got working on the floor at the start of each entrance i use 
use some stripped oak logs to make a sort of like fun pattern. I might change this a bit later and make it a bit more in like the corners as well as I feel like the corners look a bit plain, but don't worry. I've got plans for the corners as well. There's going to be some stuff there. And also I added in this water and this like sort of cool entrance on every single one of the staircases. You can see here me working on every single one. I showed you the first one in detail and the other ones in not so much detail, just from a zoomed out perspective so you could see them all. As otherwise, I basically could have just played the same time lapse four times in a row because they would have been all identical as yes, they are all matching. And that's basically where we're at. So we're looking pretty good now. Everything's coming together, but you know what isn't coming together? This wall. It looks ugly. I hate it. It's so flat. We're going to make it sort of like curve down and generate naturally. Got an inventory full of stone, andesite and cobblestone as you can see. The sun's going down, we're gonna sleep and then we're gonna get working on this time lapse and we're gonna add some other stuff on top of it but first we're just gonna add the stone. So let's get a layer of stone in all the way around. Hopefully this looks okay. It might look terrible. I guess there's only one way to find out and that's by placing down the stone. So I also grabbed a load of dirt and just like filled in the little pools of water that are around the main temple as well. I think I might add in some water afterwards, but I'm gonna make it myself, make it look all nice and fancy and stuff. But yeah, I was just kind of just spamming this stone down really. I was not doing it with any pattern in mind, keeping some bits thicker and some bits thinner. Basically just trying to random it. And it was kind of tricky because there's kind of different levels on each side of these and I think I'm gonna just sort of like leave it that way. I might flatten it out a bit as you can see on the right there I flattened out a bit but I'm not sure. We'll see as we progress I guess. So I'm back at the old base just doing some farming because I need to get some grass which is pretty easy to come by because it's literally everywhere. However, I currently only have silk touch on a pickaxe and I'm not sure if you remember but um uh, Silky Steve kind of died, which means I'm gonna have to get another villager to trade me a silk touch enchantment. And let's be real, my villager trading setup is not ideal. They're all just in that little hole, which you can't really see behind me. To be honest, most of this setup isn't ideal. This farm is a pain. But I'm hoping once we get the new base set up, we can get a new farm set up. I've got plans for sure to have different farms in each section. Plus we can get some automated pumpkin and melon farms going, which would be a nice change. Another thing we actually need are leaves because part of my design is to have some leaves around and I've got nine in this chest, but I need more than that, obviously. So we're going to have to go chopping down some trees and stuff. Whoa, where the heck? How did that get in? Might have something to do with me leaving the door wide open. So while we wait for our villagers to sort of reset, this guy here needs to reset. This is the only one that's sort of changing at the moment and he's giving me royalty too. Ew. We may as well start chopping some of these leaves. So I'll grab a few shulker boxes and fill them up as we can always store them for the future as well. Ooh, before actually I thought I'll try the villagers again. Silk touch, let's lock him in quickly and then we can farm some grass as well as leaves. Lovely. I'm actually gonna put this on my main shovel and then I'm gonna fix the shovel. And we've bought a mending book as well, which means we're out of emeralds, but our shovel should last us until the end of time. And our enchantment points are officially Zero. Nice. Let's get farming some grass and leaves. Holy moly, I just took out the green dye from here and I got 44 enchantment points. What the heck? That's so weird. I'm fine with that though. So here's a very quick time lapse of me just clearing out a load of leaves and collecting a bit of grass as well. Quite satisfying to watch, isn't it? And here's what we managed to collect. I actually used like eight lots of shears, I'm pretty sure in the end. And we got a load of grass as well. This should be enough to get us through. So the only thing to do now is to get adding it on. So I wanted to make sure that I left some of the bits of stone showing because we did place like a mix of cobblestone, andesite and smooth stone for that reason. But I also wanted it to just make it look very natural as well. We're actually gonna place things from each different season on these banks in each sector as well. But we haven't worked out where every season is going to be yet. But as you can see, it's looking good. I'm very happy with this. I think this is an awesome looking entrance. This thing's gonna be pretty tall from the ground level. It looks massive. Like seriously, this place is probably one of the biggest things I've ever built before especially for a base. And I'm probably not gonna be able to get too much done today, but I'm gonna try and get the start of the main building round the edge done, because I just need some smooth stone for that and a bit of spruce wood, which we have been chopping our trees. So we have a decent amount in this chest, as you can see there. Luckily, we have a decent amount of smooth stone left as well. So 
let's get building. Probably the final time lapse of the day. And oh boy, are things really starting to come together. When you see the end of this time lapse, you'll be shocked by how much progress or how little progress I actually managed to achieve in this time. Obviously, spruce wood is quite hard to get, so I think next time we're going to get working on a wood farm because we need quite a lot more for this build. The main block isn't going to be spruce wood, it is going to be white concrete powder. So obviously, we're going to have to go gravel and sand farming as well. But luckily, we have elytra now, so we can actually fly out and try and find a gravel biome and we can get to a desert with ease, which is awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. I've been hanging around in this biome for a bit too long and I'm getting a bit sick of it, but I am also really excited for this base to finally get together. We're going to have such a good chest room. Oh, I'm so excited for that chest room guys you have no idea also we'll get some automated farms going we'll get a villager setup going oh it's gonna be so good i'm probably gonna have the villagers in one of the four quarters that we're gonna split this up to the four sections are gonna be like from the corners so it'll be like a diagonal wall i'm gonna build i think and i'll put like gates in that wall so you can walk in between the two but let's be real we've got elytra we've got loads of gunpowder we're just gonna be flying around as they're gonna be quite big but as you can see we've got like some doorways now and we also have some pillars going up as we're going to have an overhanging roof. It looks beautiful. I'm so happy with this. I think the natural look I've got on the outside of this thing is really awesome and like how it's going to build up and it's probably going to be like not in the clouds, but pretty high up. We're gonna have like three tiers of this thing. The roof's gonna be awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. I think it's gonna look really, really cool. I can't wait to get building more, but honestly, we have no supplies, which unfortunately means I can't. So we're actually gonna head back to our old base for a little bit. And honestly, my main problem with the new base is that our chickens, we're just outside of the area. So this doesn't actually work. The chickens don't lay eggs while we're all the way over there. We're too far away, which honestly makes me sad. So I'm thinking I might have to like make a new chicken farm over there. And I'm also gonna make a new farm as well. Now I actually haven't checked this in a while. So I'm gonna see how much XP we get from this. We're on 45 at the moment. Let's grab this out. We're only up to 46, so it's not had that much stored in there. In fact, I think it can only get 64 right now. So I'm going to quickly remove some of this. So that can gather some XP for us and take this upstairs. And we're actually going to need some of this green dye for the build. Not a huge amount. Probably not 80 stacks or however much I've got. But we're going to need some. And I've got a bit of time still before I need to upload this video. So I'm going to actually take four shulker boxes here. And I'm going to try and find some gravel and sand. Starting with the sand, because I actually know where that is. And let's begin the satisfying sand collection. I could time lapse this, but I think we've had enough time lapses for today. All right, we've got our sand, but now we're getting our gravel. I found a gravelly mountains biome here. It's a bit rubbish, but let's start collecting this stuff. Also, I temporarily made another shovel. This is my original one because I just couldn't fix this. I need to get an XP farmer set up as it's so annoying trying to fix tools. So I've just made another one quickly. Luckily, got the same enchantments. Just no mending and no silk touch. But let's collect all this gravel. Look at this. We got a full box of gravel, another full box of gravel, a box of sand, and another box of sand. Very nice. Let's kill some chickens to try and fix our mending shovel. Should be quite a few in here now. Yes, nice. It's almost back to full, but it doesn't matter because we've got all the stuff we need right now anyway. And there's one thing we're actually going to collect before we end today. We've got loads of white dye because of all the bone mill down in our cactus farm, but I would quite like some bamboo so I can make some scaffolding, which I've never used before, but I know is incredibly helpful. So let's set out again, but this time let's look for a jungle. I've looked around most of this area, so this might take a while. Back in a second. <gasps> yes, finally. My gosh, wait, please don't tell me. This is the only bamboo we're going to be able to find. A village right next to it as well. Got some emeralds, got a load of hay bales, and I just realized now that I forgot to bring any food with me. So luckily they had some bread. But anyway, let's collect a load of bamboo, and luckily we can grow it, I'm pretty sure. So let's see if we can actually find... Oh yes, this is what we're looking for. Lovely. That should be plenty for now. Right, let's head home. Oh my gosh, we're so far away. Luckily I've got a shulker box full of rockets though, so don't worry about me. Oh yes, we are home. All right. I'm going to plant a load of this just outside here. Because I will still be AFKing here quite a lot because of the creeper farm and all our farms out here. Whoa, this stuff grows quick. What the heck? We can use the rest for scaffolding though. We're going to have to use up pretty much all of our string. But look at that. Nice. But there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for today's episode of Minecraft Goals. For those wondering, we're nearly on 4,000 chickens killed. I'm going to hopefully get the first layer of this base done next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and comment. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye.